I'm here in the Huye district of Rwanda to witness the site-saving work of the charity CBM. And today I'm meeting 73-year-old Vincent who has the disease glaucoma. And this has particular personal relevance to me because my own father completely lost his sight to glaucoma. I know so well from my own dad's experience, getting prompt diagnosis and effective treatment for glaucoma is vital. Sadly, my dad was diagnosed too late, but I saw how hard the doctors worked to save the last pinprick of sight he had left. Oh, Vincent! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's so good to see you. My cousin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you, you remind me of my dad. No, he was handsome like you. <laughs> what could you do before you lost your sight that you can't do now? So it makes life very difficult. I know that you take the drops very regularly and you get checked out. If you didn't have the treatment now, what would happen to your eyes? If you lost your sight completely, what would that feel like? What would that be like for you? There are simply not enough eye services in rural areas. To access the sight-saving treatment he needs, Vincent's day starts at 3 a.m. with a two-hour walk to the nearest bus stop, then hours traveling to CBM's partner hospital before returning home. I know you have to travel so such a long distance and it takes so much time. What would it be for you to have the clinic much closer? It's my absolute heart's desire that you get a clinic much nearer to your home to reduce all the pressure that goes with the limited eyesight. Nobody should needlessly lose their sight to conditions like glaucoma, so I'm really hoping that you'll join me today in supporting CBM's vital work, delivering eye health services where they are most needed. If you give right now, your gift will help twice as many people to see the way to a brighter future because until the 12th of May 2020, every single pound you give will be doubled by the UK government. So please visit seetheway.org because together we can save sight and transform lives.